Hey, it's David Rams back with another video, back with another five minute Friday. We're gonna go back through the last week's interesting vegan news and animal rights news. We're gonna pack it all into a nice little five minute package for you. You can get updated and not spend too much time doing it. Before we jump into this week's video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos in the future. Check out the David Rams store for some cool vegan merch. We've got t-shirts, hoodies, really nice stuff like that. And you could possibly win a t-shirt. Check the description for more information about how you can get a free t-shirt. Let's dive into this week's Week's five minute Friday. Let's put those five minutes on the clock and let's start with the first story. A burger restaurant has gone fully vegan due to the pandemic. This is a burger restaurant in Tokyo called Great Lakes Tokyo. The founder said COVID-19 was caused by the exploitation of animals. I can't see another way to move forward given the devastation around the world. Brilliant. There's a silver lining to this international pandemic and I hope more businesses realize this and follow suit. Lewis Hamilton's dog has gone vegan. Well, plant-based because dogs don't understand the moral and ethical principles of veganism. His dog's eating a plant-based diet. I think that's awesome. He's taken a lot of shit on his social media for it. Do get over there and help people understand that dogs are 100% healthy when they're eating a plant-based diet. The world's first rehab center designed to reintroduce dolphins to the wild has opened permanently in Bali. It's actually run by somebody who used to train dolphins for like some TV show called Flipper and now he's helping to rehabilitate dolphins to get them back into the wild. What a beautiful thing. Peter is back in the controversy. They never get out of it, do they? They recently tweeted a very shocking, very brutal photograph of a cat that had been dissected. People went ape shit. They didn't go ape shit because of what they were seeing and asking how can we stop this. They attacked Peter for sharing it in the first place. Be mad at what is happening. Don't be mad at Peter for exposing what is happening. People are saying all these different things. They're really upset about it. I'll read out some of the tweets. A sick twisted joke from none other than Peter. Hearing Peter posted something disgusting so anyone who puts it on my timeline is just getting blocked. And my personal favorite, if you are silly enough to click the Peter trend and see that photo, don't forget to report it as a violent or offensive image. I think it's time to deplatform Peter Peter, hashtag deplatform Peter. Because attacking and deplatforming the organizations that expose animal cruelty is how we stop animal cruelty. Well done. Animal Rebellion has been back in the news again for a protest in Trafalgar Square in London. They dyed the water in the fountain in Trafalgar Square. They dyed it red. They got in all the news. They've been on TV. They've been doing radio interviews. It was really effective, a really effective action. What do you think about that? I know some people are upset because the red dye got on some birds. They confirmed that it was non-toxic red dye that would come off easily. It's pretty bad on optics that it did get on some of the birds though. The pigeons, because they're so pale colored and when you see red on them, it looks really bad. I think that was something that maybe wasn't thought out so well. At the end of the day, that got the, it got them the attention. It brought attention to the animal agriculture industries. I think it's net positive. Joaquin Phoenix has teamed up with the Animal Legal Defense Fund to launch a campaign to launch a website as well that allows slaughterhouse workers to report abuse to the animals anonymously. Joaquin has put his name to it. He has spoken about it. And with him backing it and with this whole system being put together, I think this is gonna be fantastic to get people to blow the whistle on what is happening within animal agriculture, within slaughterhouses, to get people to speak out so we can really take them down. Here's what Wacky had to say about it. Whistleblowers are instrumental in helping animal protection organizations identify, investigate, document, and expose cruelty. ReportAnimalAg.com provides a safe space for employees to confidentially and with anonymity voice their concerns. Our billboards will be raised near factory farms and slaughterhouses across the country. Amazing. And I, I really hope this is successful. We know it's going to be successful because we know what's going on in these places. We know that people want to speak about it, but they don't dare. And now this website is going to give all of these people a voice. They can get this out there. They can get something done about it. Did I miss any stories from last week? Let me know in the comments right now. And thank you for those who gave me stories last week. I really appreciate you pointing me to, in the right directions to go research these things and look into new things. That's really, really useful for me. I really, really appreciate it. What do you think about this week's stories? Again, let me know in the comments. I want your feedback. I want your opinions as always. Before you leave, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Really helps out the channel and obviously you get notified of all of my videos in the future as it's a win-win situation. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.